Yo, what's up everybody? How's it going? Today we're playing Dota 2, but one shot tower. Towers deal massive damage, but attack slowly. Good luck and have fun. Thank you very much to Onyx for making the mode. It is very late for me right now. It is 11.30 p.m. I kind of had a bit of a bad run trying to record stuff today, so I stayed up late to get a video. Um, so that's why this is going to be a little bit... Uh, you know, kind of nighttime mode. I hope that's okay, right? Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get into the game. Okay. Grab also this. Grab also this. So, I am playing Drow Ranger. I am actually kind of excited to play Drow Ranger because I've been seeing a lot of Drow Ranger at TI8. And I just kind of like Drow Ranger. Now, admittedly, this is not the Drow Ranger that I like. This is kind of a boring, butchered version of what Drow Ranger used to be. Uh, but at the same time, you know what? It's still Drow Ranger. Good so enough. let's go ahead and give it a go. Uh, I do have to say that I personally really That's liked exactly. the old Drow Ranger a lot more. And like watching back like the old Drow strats feels like just a more exciting kind of way of playing the game, if I'm honest. But anyway... Onward. That's okay. We're going to go ahead and play some Drow. Now let's have a look at these towers then. So uh, 1500 damage, attack rate every uh, three seconds, is that right? A splash attack, oh dear god. A heart piercer, okay. Uh, and greater bash. All right, and this bad boy? Yeah, okay, okay. All right. 2500 damage, 3000 damage. All right, so they're, they're pretty strong. They're pretty scary. We have this. We have this field of terror that we can cast that will just make things be That's invincible nice. and have attack speed, which is crazy. Well, it's not really invincible. It's an arc warden field. It's just very small. <laughs> it's very small, so that makes things a little tricky. Well. Um, but yeah, we'll see. Oh, hello, Nature's Prophet. Uh, another little... Here's a little fun fact about the eye, but uh, 70 eyes, Nature's Prophet was played exclusively as a core. And then finally, at TI-8, Nature's Prophet is played as a support. And I find that really interesting. Like, the hero is still really fundamentally the same. Why all of a sudden now? And I actually don't have an answer. If anybody has an answer to this question, why is it that at TI-8, all of a sudden Nature's Prophet started being played as a, uh, as a support as opposed to a core, then please let me know. If I'm honest, if I were to guess, it's probably just a matter of perception where people just didn't consider him a support uh, for a very long time. And then they like, oh, hey, I guess this is something that can be done, right? Okay, then. But yeah, I don't really have a good answer to that. I can tell you what TI-8 has is all about. By the way, this is just gonna be a facts video. <laughs> this is just gonna be me talking about, like, the things that I've been watching because... Uh, it is very late and I'm tired and my brain isn't at full capacity, but you know uh, This is how it's gonna be today But uh, what I find uh, oh shit I was like planning to last hit that somehow, but then the tower just comes in and annihilates it. All right chill tower Hello friend No, I'm not running into that tower like I know what's waiting for me there but uh, TI-8 is something there where, uh, what's interesting about it to me is how much more important, um, oh, well, this has a long duration, doesn't it? How much more important laning became. I mean, laning was always important. I'm not going to try and tell you that laning was ever unimportant. It's always been very important. But at TI-8, Laning became the most important thing. You need to win your lanes because if you win your lanes, you probably win the game. And uh, there have been so many one-sided games. I don't think there's been a TI with more like just stomps, I guess, than TI-8. And I think that's largely because the laning stage is so critically important during that tournament that, um, you know... If you win laning, you can just kind of immediately win the game off the back of it. Okay. We're gonna go out and get ourselves a Dragon Lance. I actually would like another Void if I can. I don't have vision on this guy. I'm gonna go beat him up. 
You did manage to get one kill already, which is nice. I guess we get this multi-shot. I don't like this multi-shot thing. It's a very boring ability, if you ask me. It's just like a wave shoving ability. Which, uh, yeah, you know what? Give me, give me back precision aura. Come on, where's my precision aura? Give me back the good stuff. All right, grab this. I have no idea where this Nature's Prophet went. Nature's Prophet is missing. I mean, it's the Nature's Prophet. He is going to be missing, right? Oh, sorry. Apology. <gasps> Hello. Oh my god. <gasps> okay, we, we live. We have a good amount of armor. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear God, that one hurt. That was my thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Towers are OP, aren't they? Wasn't a one shot. Oh yeah, that's true. What a lie, dude! Filthy lie. Okay, let's grab this. And we will use our Tango to heal up a bit. Very well. Something that, uh, you know, kind of like as part of all of the TIs is I'm trying to kind of put together like um, a bit of like a timeline of the design kind of thought process behind Good Dota. Enough. Right, so f as an example, at TI5, um, one of the problems that existed was that heroes would get to uh, their six-slotted state very, very quickly, right? That's just something they yes. could do very easily. Because, you know, the power creep had progressed to a point that heroes are overall fairly strong and there's a good amount of money on the map and there's more creep camps and so on. And uh, it just kind of resulted in... Um, in players being able to actually like oh no <laughs> holy shit that four stuff how rude okay well, let's build a hurricane pike so we can force stuff ourselves out of there immediately <laughs> Ooh, that's brutal dude but it's it resulted in the um in uh, in really weird long drawn out games where both sides were able to get to their six slot rather early on but once they were there they couldn't really do anything right because they were equal strength because you know they drafted that way but now that they are equal strength and they are six slotted there isn't really anything they can farm for right there isn't really a play they can make if after getting six slotted they are of the same power level as their opponent uh, what's the next play do you have any idea what is the next play? Right? There just isn't really anything concrete you can do there. You just need to, I don't know, somehow hope you get a good team fight and you got to farm for buyback. But other than that, I don't know, money is just kind of like abundant in a weird way. So, that was like a, a bit of a problem with, uh, with that tournament. So, the following year... Uh, I see that at that tournament, there are a lot more of the really super late game items that were added. Alright? Like, it's really interesting. They added a bunch of this stuff that didn't exist before. There were more items, and so players had more opportunities to build into stronger late game stuff. And it's, it's obviously, like, was a solution to the problem of people getting six slotted and then not being able to do anything with it um and i find that really interesting how you can like see the design process kind of going through through the years you know and i'm kind of like tr putting that together um because i think it'll really help me kind of understand how everything works and like why dota is the way it is today it's really interesting i find <clears throat> okay. So we have a Hurricane Pike. Which, um... I don't know what to do with it. 
I, I feel like I'm just farming right now because like these towers are really scary and I don't want to mess with them. Right? Like the only time I want to really mess with the towers is when I, is when I feel like I can kill them. I don't feel like that right now. <laughs> I mean, maybe I can try. This, 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 this tower is scary, dude. It's gonna be a long game. We're good. We're good. Silent has missed. Pride of the drought. We are good. <laughs> Just barely, but we made it. Um, probably get a butterfly. I think with that we can uh, maybe keep ourselves going. But maybe we should get like an uh, Aghanims to farm faster. But I don't know. I feel like Jar Range already farms plenty fast, right? Do I need a... Do I really need an Aghanims? Hello, friends. And that should be a kill, right? And that should be another one. Yeah. Being aggressive. Yeah. <laughs> That's a TI-5 reference. I feel like I am in way too deep in this TI business right now. <laughs> I'm just, this is just all my brain is. I already told Tusky, you know, because like I'm, I'm... I'm gonna finish up TI-8 tomorrow, I know that. Um, and then, you know, TI-9 is coming up, and I already watched TI-10. And uh, I'm just gonna be... I don't even know what to do with my life, then. You know, I'm just gonna be done. Yasha. Oh, Manta's a very good idea, actually. I really like the idea of a Manta, because if we get four staffed in, we can Manta to kind of distract the tower, hopefully. That seems like a, seems like a good idea. But yeah, my life will just be empty. <laughs> it will just be like, no. Well, I, I already know what I'm going to do. I'm going to just start over. Right? I'm going to start over. But instead of watching everything, I'm going to be watching it with specific, um, like, specific, like, questions in mind. Right? Butterfly. For example, I'm going to watch all Shadow Fiend games of all the TIs. Like, that's what's the next step. Oh, how rude. <laughs> how do you like that, nerd? No, oh, I didn't hit that guy. Alright, but that's the next step. It's to go uh, and uh, and go back to that. What are your thoughts about Monkey King and TI-8? Uh, honestly, Monkey King wasn't that big of a deal in TI-8. I think it was picked a single time in the main stage. It was banned a few times, but not even that many times. Monkey King is just not really that important a hero in the tournament. Yeah, let's go, Drown Ranger. And I outranged the tower, right? Yeah, let's go. We can do it. <laughs> All right, we're going to get ourselves a tower. We'll do it. Yeah, let's get it. Ah, <gasps> oh, we did it, everybody. We did it. Now that feels good. That feels good. I mean, it's a real struggle to get it, uh, but you know, we, we made it. Okay, very good. Was that the first time he was in TI? No, I think he was in TI7 as well. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Monkey King seems like such a big deal, but I think he... Like, it is also a little weird because Monkey King has a really high overall pick rate. Or, like, he's been picked a lot, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, especially considering just for how few tournaments he was actually in the game. I'm guessing most of that is gonna be, like, TI-9 and TI-10. Okay, I'm here. That's okay, I'm gonna just take down this tower. Because they are scary. But they don't do extra damage. <laughs> okay, sorry, but they don't have extra HP. They do do extra damage, but they don't have extra HP. So, um, you know, my draw ranger here, she can take down your tower like it's nobody's business. Yeah. 
Yeah, attack range. Not a problem. Not a problem. Okay. Let's pick the Lodman Basher worked in his ultimate. Dude, that was silly, wasn't it? Like, I can't believe that they ever thought that was okay. Like, what happened? The... What went wrong at Valve offices that they ever thought, you know what, yeah, I feel like that's okay. You should be able to do that. <laughs> oh no, we're getting yeeted. Alright, uh, we're just chilling, don't worry. Oh my god. <laughs> Time to get a tower. <laughs> Let's go, Drow. This is absolutely disgusting, dude. Alright. What happened to you? I'm spoilering your stuff, podcast idea. It's gonna happen, just not right now. Like, I've said this from the very beginning. I'm very glad that so many... So, this is probably the idea of mine that I've had the most, like requests for right like ever since i told people about the spoiler like literally just spoilers show every like i've gotten so many people who are just like when when when, <laughs> when are you doing it but uh I, this is what i said from the very beginning is i need to finish up alex first that is my 100 percent highest priority right now Right? And after I finished Alex, I'm probably I'm going to take a bit of a break from making games because I want to try out some stuff with YouTube. Um, and uh, that's where we're going to try out the spoilers show. And we're going to try out the the Dota history YouTube channel. Oh, I, I even got a hit in. Right. That's where we're going to do all of that stuff. All right. It finally killed me. I feel like I should get a BKB. You know, seems like a good idea. So it will happen probably later this year, but not anytime soon, because I do need to finish up Alex for it first. Although uh, I know I keep saying that, but I expect finishing up Alex at this point is probably going to be another two, maybe three months, and then it's going to be done. And then I can start doing that kind of stuff. So that's that's a sort of a loose timeline there. What are you planning on starting with old movies? No, I'm not interested in movies for the spoiler show. I don't think movies are that interesting because movies are short, right? Like, the benefit of the spoiler show, like, the whole point of it to me is that it, it should allow people to consume content that would usually take a really long time in a very short amount of time. So, for example, something that I think would be great for it and unironically probably would be the best episode of this or the best series of episodes of this would be Grey's Anatomy. Now, Grey's Anatomy is 17 seasons with 30 episodes each that are 50 minutes long each. <laughs> that is not something you can just casually watch. <laughs> that is a commitment. <laughs> and that's exactly where this, this format shines, right? Well, a movie... You can just watch a movie, like even a long movie. That's like a three hour commitment. You can just watch that, like whatever. I don't need to do that for you, right? So I wouldn't want to do movies. I would want to do like uh, longer stories. So I think manga, anime, uh, just TV shows in general, that kind of stuff. Spoil House. I don't think House would be that good because it doesn't have as much of an overarching storyline. Dude, Grey's Anatomy would be the shit. Like, like, that would be the best episode. I am not joking. Because Grey's Anatomy is fucking wild. You guys don't even know. If you haven't watched Grey's Anatomy, you probably think it's just like, you know, it's like a medical show, you know? It's just like a little slice of life drama type thing. Oh, you, you have no fucking idea. <laughs> Grey's Anatomy is insane. <laughs> So, yeah. Onward. Hello. I mean, Grey's Anatomy has a higher death toll than Game of Thrones. Like, that's all I can say. Like, there's just, there's just people dropping like fucking flies. 
Okay, that's a Marcy. I was just gonna keep pushing. I mean, I arranged this shit. So be it. How rude. Your bottom tower is under attack. Good enough. All right. Oh. My sentiments as well. Ah, I think we need to. I don't know if we can get in there. The tower is just so tough. I can probably take a few hits from it. Also, I have evasion, which would help a lot, but definitely not too many. And particularly if they buff it up, they give it attack speed, that'll be brutal. So, it's all a bit worrisome. Yes. Okay. So be it. This seems pretty good. Projectile speed. Attack animation speed. What a weird item, isn't it? Hello, friends. Hmm. I probably just can't do this, but I don't know. We have some backup now. Die! Oh. Alright. Alright, alright, okay, we're hanging in there, we're hanging in there. Ooh. So close. So close. Alright, we got a bunch of them, though. So that probably gives us at least an opportunity to get in there. Ah, oh, can Dragonite tank? You have 50 armor? I say the Dragonite needs to just take some tower heads. I go in silence. The Dragonite is just the Dragonite is just gonna have to take some tower heads here. Oh no. Oh shit, actually. Oh crap, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, Dragonite. <laughs> Alright, Dragonite should not have taken those tower heads. Ooh, nice. Oh, I should have used my PKB. Still had time for it, but I just. Yeah. Okay, okay. Hmm. I think the Manta Star can probably go. It hasn't actually turned out that nicely because I mostly just outranged the towers. I thought I would get, like, forced into the towers a bit more, but that's not really what's happening. So I think just, uh. Agonims consumed, then we see like maybe like a place to have like crits or something. MKB. Okay. The tree just spots for Dragon Ball Z, so there are two people staring at each other and screaming while charging up an attack move. The end. No, it's not that simple. Like, honestly, to me personally, the most interesting part of Dragon Ball are really the setups. The setups for all of the fights are really cool. I know that Dragon Ball is mostly known for the fights, but let's be honest, Dragon Ball fights are kind of whack, right? Like, they're not that good. But, like, all of the setup for it is really interesting. Like, there's weird androids coming from the future and space travel and aliens and shit. Like, that's pretty neat. Alright, grab this. More spoilers for Dragon Ball. <laughs> I think, I think if you if you're worried about Dragon Ball spoilers, then a uh, Dragon Dragon Boy. Oh, that sounds like a sounds like a different show. Uh, Dragon Ball spoilers, then uh, you know uh, we're all, all behind there. My sentiments as well. Okay, time to just fucking get this tower. I'm just gonna fucking get this tower right now. So all right, we made it. Oh. That was such a struggle to take down this building, dude. Alright. Okay. Do we say that you need Megas to win? <laughs> oh shit, Marcy. <laughs> Alright, good. Punch her out of here. Yeah, alright, well, we got one of them. 
We had more marksmanship. <clears throat> Your bottom tower is under attack. All right. I, I think MKB is probably best, right? Or what do you guys want to buy? Or I could get Swift Blink. Oh, that sounds good. Meep, meep. 59 months. I shall use my 59th subscription message to call out a bot in the Discord. Oh, hey, Pudis. Is there a bot in the Discord? Again? Oh, oh man. That's just so annoying. All right. Thanks, Pudis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got rid of it. All right. Now I need to check every channel that is actually deleted because, oh, of course not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, Discord is really bad about actually deleting the messages from the spammers, even though you ban the spammers and you say you want them deleted, and then they're like, oh, but I don't know, there's a bunch of messages remaining, we should just leave them there, right? And I'm like, no, no, get rid of them, but... Alright. There's a bot that does that for you. Yeah, that bot should be Discord. I mean, come on, it's not that hard. I don't know why they can't manage to pull this off correctly. Okay. Do we want to get... Swift Blink? Oh, I don't know what to buy. Well, we'll get this guy. Oh, shit. We'll get this guy killed, and then... Hmm. I don't know. What What do you guys What do you guys like in terms of items? I'm thinking Swift Blink or MKB. Do they have evasion? No, this guy has MKB. This guy's just raw damage. I'm gonna get a swift blank. I'll take that. All right. No, we're just getting yeeted around a bit, but that's okay. So far, we're holding up fine. I'm still disarmed. Alright, well, we, we hung in there somehow. <laughs> the has I guess. <laughs> Team really coming in big time there, but eh? I mean, that's what they're for, right? Forward. Good, good, good. My bow is dropped. If I was one line away from a disaster. Ah, but I did just kill the line, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that cre credit for that then. <laughs> Alright, grab these moon shards. Well, we seem about as strong as we're gonna get, right? Okay, let's see if we can get this bottom towel. I mean, our damage output is there, right? Like, it's just, it's just a matter of can we kill it in time? Alright, we did. Very good. Very good. Alright, we took down another tower. Oh, that guy looks kind of scary, doesn't he? <clears throat> oh. Ooh, yeah, I kind of blinked into that one, didn't I? Alright, no, we're still hanging in there, although we've taken some good damage. But we're still okay. Alright, cool. Get these. Can we get this tower? Oh god. Oh shit. And, but I, I I outrange it. Do I not outrange it? No, I do outrange it. No, oh, I absolutely outrange it. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Alright. Alright, they got me. 
Yeah, I know, I know, I know that there's the bot in the Discord. I'm playing a game, guys. Yeah, it's it's really irritating. Like, we get bots pretty regularly. I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. I know that there are... There's, like, ways to, like, force validate people before they are able to message something, but, like... I don't know, I kind of like... I like people being able to, like, freely join and... and and be part of things as they choose, you know? But I guess I, it's just one where I'm gonna need to decide on... I'm gonna need to kind of decide on one... One thing that sucks. Yeah. Okay. 1x6 hasn't been good for you. It's been 80, 28 minutes into the game. You do not have TP boots. I, I know that that's kind of become a meme that, I, meme that I always buy TP boots, but you guys understand why I do that, right? Like, we're currently playing with a bit of a lower multiplier than we normally do. Um, because this mod, I felt like that was appropriate. But usually we, we play with really high gold and experience multipliers. If I buy power treads, I'm just going to have to sell them like two minutes later. It just always feels like a bit of waste of time. Alright? And I find that something is kind of weird that people seem to struggle so much to wrap their mind around the idea that with the kind of multipliers that we play with... Ooh, oh, he just locked me down the whole time. With the kind of multipliers that we play with, there isn't really much of a point to going for, you know, like, in-between items. Like, why would I bother buying a Falcon Blade if I can't just have a heart in the same time, you know? Uh, I don't know. It always feels a little bit weird when people don't consider that. Ooh, okay. Alright, Tower is doing an okay job at holding, but... Not crazy about this development right now. That is terrifying. Imagine getting hit by those. <laughs> you get boots of travel in the end game. If the end game is around 20 minutes in, why bother getting our boots for that short time? Well, it's not even 20 minutes in. It's usually more like 15 minutes. Right? Like, the way we often play lobbies, you can very reasonably get six slotted in 15 minutes. Right? Or sometimes even faster yes. than that. It's just kind of, I don't know. I don't know. Feels like a bit of waste of time to me, you know? And... Alright, I need to be very aware of this lion. The lion keeps jumping me, and that's kind of scary, I'm not gonna lie. And... Very well. <laughs> oh, man. Good enough. Alright, let's. Go, come on, let's get him, let's get him. Ancient is exposed, we can totally do this. To battle. It's a little weird that the order doesn't have like a big, like, oh, the Ancient can be attacked now. My Admittedly, Dota is not a game that really gives you very much direction as to what is to do anyway, right? Well, they have started doing that a bit recently with all of the silly Aghanim's shards and so on, but, you know. Good. Your top tower is under oh attack. no. Your top tower has fallen. She had a shaman's Four. bottom. Your top tower is under attack. Good enough. Ooh. Oh, I'm hexed again. No, it's okay. We're hanging in there. Alright, we got this guy. And now there's just one fella remaining, and that's this one. Hey! We did it! Yeah! Let's go! Drow Ranger! Very good, very good. 
Look at that. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating on the video. I definitely appreciate that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.